I created three accordion fold pockets out of different substrates. I've used paper bags to create the accordion folds, cardstock to create the accordion fold, gel press print, napkin decoupage, and marble dye paper. If you want to watch just one, the napkin starts at 650, the marble dye paper at 2702, and the gel press begins next. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a brief minute and subscribe to my channel. And of course, that notification bell does let you know when I upload additional content. It is my intent to provide short, concise videos. So these three pockets are the ones that I have created. This is the nap napkin decoupaged, the napkin I received in Happy Mail from Louise. Thank you very much. This made a beautiful pocket. The gel press print also has a paper bag accordion fold inside it. And the marble dyed paper, I used a cardstock to create the accordion fold. And I'll show that to you right now. It has a little magnet closure. You open that up and that's just a piece of cardstock that we've pleated into that accordion fold. So let's get started on the first pocket. Fold a eight and a half inch by 11 <clears throat> sheet of paper in half and glue that down. And that's an A4 sheet of paper. And I just am utilizing my glue stick to glue that down and, and just gluing it in half. The bone folder will seal that, that fold a little bit. Now I'm going to pull out my dirty, dirty gel press and since I have so much green on there I've decided to use raw umber and olive green to complete this project. I've pulled the stencil out and I'm just getting some paint onto the paper. The stencil is a stencil girl stencil that came in the last subscription. I haven't really used it yet so we'll just give it a shot here and I, I do like it. it. It turned out to create some interesting marks. I'm going to clean that up with my vellum and then we will go back with the olive green and we will use another stencil. And I lay the paint down on the gel press, put the stencil down, run my brayer over the top of it, and then pick that up off the gel press. And I am just picking that up in, in small little areas. I'm not laying it flat. I'll end with the orange, and I'm just laying that on my gel press, hitting it with my brayer, and then I will run that over the top of the piece. Now I'm just eyeballing a nice area for a fold firming it with the bone folder and adding corners on the um, little flap, pocket flap. So I just rounded those off with the crocodile. And now to cut the accordion fold, I am utilizing a paper bag. I will fold that paper bag in half, but first I need to cut the bottom off. So the bottom is coming off with my X-Acto. I'll lay that aside for use later. And you can see this makes a little pleated accordion type fold that we can fit down inside this pocket folder. It's a little too wide, so I'm going to cut from each edge. Now I did find out when I did this, I cut the accordion fold off or I dismantled the accordion fold. So I'm just going to come back in with a little thin ribbon of glitter glue and re-adhere that fold. Everything is still in place, it's just not, I cut off the part where it was glued together, so we'll just re-glue that. And that needs to be done on, of course, both sides. And once we get that glued down, we will glue the two folds or we will where we fold it in in half we will glue that together as well you see that right here that's just gluing it in half 
Now you have that accordion fold. Of course, you, you must let the glue dry for that to be in place. So we'll set that aside and let that glue dry. And once that glue is dry, I've stuck that in. It's just a bit too high, so I'm going to trim that off. And I'm using double-sided tape to adhere that to the inside of my pocket. We'll get that firmly in place on one side, and then we'll hit the other side with the double-sided tape. And fold that up, and there you see the little accordion fold. So now to get the closure. This is a toilet paper tube that I have run through the embosser and I'm just going to cut a one inch circle to use as my little medallion. I'm gonna ink around the outside edge of it with the vintage photo. And I also inked over the top of it with watering can that kind of grayish brown color. And now I am utilizing kitchen string and I will staple that in place and glue it in place to make sure that it is firmly adhered. We'll staple it first, put a little bit of glue on there and lay down the cheesecloth that we have tucked, that we'll tuck underneath our toilet paper tube embossed medallion and that will complete this pocket. We'll just tie this up in a neat little bow and there we go. So we have one down and now we'll get started with number two. So we'll do the same thing again. Fold that eight and a half sheet of paper in half. Glue it down eight and a half by eleven. Glue it down. And this time we're going to fold over the top and trim that top to look like a tag. So I'm just putting that fold in and I'm making it a little bit deeper. And we'll just trim both of the edges of that off and then fold it back up in half. Does that make sense? So you're folding it over and then folding it back. So we can put, you know, a little piece of sari silk through the top of it and cut the little diagonals off. It looks kind of taggish. And now we'll glue that down. Now I should have rounded my corners before I glued that down. It would have been easier, but it, it still can be done. And that's what I'm going to do right now. But I'm going to grab my smaller corner rounder to do that. And there we go. So now you have that little pocket that, that, or that little closure that goes down over the pocket. We'll stick a hole with the crocodile right in the center of that. And now we have a little spot that we can put a piece of sari silk through. So we have everything glued into place. And now we are ready to, to get this decorated. So I'm just laying some, this is a stamp a, it's called newsprint, and I am just randomly stamping that all over this piece of card. This is that beautiful napkin that I received in Happy Mail from Louise. Thank you so very much once again. And it is a three-ply napkin, so I'm going to use one side of it. And I'm just grabbing some tape to get my layers started. And I'm pulling it apart. And now I have, have my little bird here. And I just want to decide where I am going to put him. Now I get a little aggressive with my napkin, so I'm going to make a couple of mistakes, but why at it, right? So I think he'll look good right there. But I think it's a, a bit starkish. I just kind of want to get that napkin torn so I know what I'm going to lay down where. And now I want to add some color 
to that cardstock. So I've chosen this yellow ochre. I'm going to lighten it up just a little bit with some white. And I'm just going to brayer that randomly across this cardstock. And I really like this yellow ochre color. I think it, it reminds me of a deep mustard color. And I think that's starting to look better. It, it was just too white before. And of course I say it's too white and then I come back in with white ink, but you know, I have the yellow ochre laid down and I just wanted to put a little bit of a detail on it. So I've added this lace stencil and went back in with the white over the top of it. So it kind of pushed that ink into the back, that stamp into the back. And now I'm, I'm going to push it back just a little bit further with a little bit of gesso. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that yet. That's that's Mod Podge, and I'm coming back in and laying the napkin down now. I got ahead of myself a bit. And you can see I tore the napkin, so I'm going to use that someplace else. But I'm coming in with the Mod Podge, laying it first down, then laying the napkin on top of it, and going over the top of the napkin. And I'm just adding in the bits and pieces of the napkin as I go. all that down so I'm going to dry it a bit with the heat gun and then trim it off and make sure I get everything nice and neat around the outside edges. I'm going to re-punch that hole where I covered it with the napkin and I have the strips that I cut off the edge of the paper bag in the, the previous bag and now I'm going to just strip those, glue those strips underneath that flap so that we have that brown paper bag when you open up, open up that flap. We'll glue that down into place and then we'll trim around the outside edge of that.
And now I'm going to lay some more of that brown paper bag down because I'm going to cut the accordion fold just a slightly smaller like I did in the previous pocket and I want that to not be white above it. So I think it needs to be toned down a bit. So I have pulled out the gesso and I'm just applying it in different places with my finger. And I'll dry that with my little heat gun so I can flip it over and and work on both sides, but I kind of want to see how it's going to look folded. I'm just re-gluing that where we glued it with the um, glue stick. I'm just reattaching that to make sure that stays in place. That glue stick is, is not the strongest. And there, I think that I think that looks a, a little bit better, kind of pushing that to the back. You can see some of that type through it or that um, stamp through some of the areas of the napkin. And that just kind of makes that look a little not so stark. So there we go. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. So there we go. I think I have the outside edge finished. I'm going to add a little bit of texture with my texture paste. I have these little arrows going up and down, so I will use those vertically there, and then I will flip them and use them horizontally. And I think that looks good. And we'll do a little bit more on the other side. And we will allow that texture paste to dry and then come back in with some sandpaper and sand that down a bit. And I am just cleaning up the edges of this paper bag or taking the paper bag and cutting it down to the width. And we will do the same thing that we did in the previous bag. We will have to re-glue these accordion folds. And I'm just doing that with a fine line of, of glitter glue once again. And I got it a little too wide, so I had to go back in and trim it up once again. And now I'm going to cut the bottom of that bag off. I didn't cut it off first this time. We'll fold that in half. That is the perfect size for in there now. And maybe a little trim. And I don't think I'm going to have to re-glue it. I think that I have it glued and ready to go. And now the texture paste is dry. I'm just going to sand that a bit to Knock the edges off of that. And we'll glue that paper bag in. This time I'm going to glue it instead of the double-sided tape. We'll go down the center and then glue on the side, other side. And that folds in there nicely. See how that accordion fold is created? It has a nice texture, a nice feel to it, but I think it would look better if I just outlined it in that vintage photo. So I'm going around with the vintage photo ink just to give it a little definition around the outside edge and on all of the folds. And Louise, I, I hope you like what I've done with the napkin that you sent me. And now just a little bit of sari silk through that hole. And 
And I think we will call that a wrap. So we have two completed. I'm going to use my date stamp and just stamp a, a little date on here. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of that script stamp on the where I had just sewed as well. So there that is in its completion. So we have completed two. We completed the gel press and we completed the napkin decoupage. The marbled paper is going to be very quick and easy because we're going to do it in the same configuration that we did the last pocket in. So we are going to trim first the edges where I glued that together. I'm just, I want to make that nice and, and trim. I, I got a little uneven, so we'll trim that up. And now I'm going to decide where my fold's going to be. Now we'll, we'll fold that over and secure that fold. And this time I am going to round my corners first. So I'm going to round my corners and then fold that back up to create that fold. And then we'll measure the center and trim off the edges. And I'm just using a hotel key card that I've cut a diagonal on for my template. And we'll glue that down, measure the halfway point, and stick a nice little hole in there for some sari silk. And there, we have the outside configuration ready to go. I'm just going to trim that, that bottom up. It was a little too tight underneath that fold, so I just trimmed a little bit off. Now, I don't want to put the paper bag in this one. So we're going to work with some cardstock. But before I do that, I want to use these, this uh, Peacock Feather ink because I think that will look very nice with this glue and go around all of the outside edges in the fold lines. And I'm just going to turn that inside out and go on the fold lines on the inside as well. We'll go ahead and stick our sorry silk in there. And I have added an eyelash trim with that sorry silk. So I've used an eyelash trim and a sorry silk. Now I just scored a quarter of inch and four one half inch marks and now I'm just going to accordion fold that just like so. Now I'll measure my length, mark it, and we'll cut our two accordion folds out of that one piece of, of cardstock. And I want to ink up the fold lines on the this as well because this will show when you open up the pocket. And I'm doing it inside and out. And now we just glue that down with this glitter glue. I can get it unstuck. There we go. A little more ink on the second one and then we will glue this one down. And now we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and well I didn't let it dry but 
it would be easier if you would let that dry and then come back and glue the other side. I was too impatient. But I did get it accomplished. And I'm just inking up an embossed sheet of cardstock. And I'm creating a little medallion out of that. So I've cut two, and I'm going to sandwich a magnet in between. And that isn't um, a real thick cardstock. It's just that same cardstock I used for the, the fold or for the accordion fold. And I will glue that little little magnet down. And I have attached the second magnet to it so I can determine where that magnet will fall. And I've, I'm just um, flapping it down and, and uh, pulling it apart. And then I know exactly where it should lie. Like that. So there's the second magnet. I removed the adhesive on it, and now I, it's firmly in place. Now I have taken a piece of deli paper, and I'm just inking it up with the peacock feather ink to cover that magnet, just, you know, ripping it in just a little circular shape, putting some glue around the outside of, edge of the magnet, and then covering it up with that. I don't want anything too thick because it will you know, make the magnet not stick, but that, that completes that. So now we have the three completed. And I'll just show them all three to you once again. And here's the marble one done with a little magnetic closure, the cardstock accordion. And that completes the three accordion folders. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will Take time to subscribe to my channel and come back and see me. I try to create videos that are 10 to 20 minutes. Generally, this is a very long one for my normal, but I have linked a couple of other videos here that I think you might enjoy. So please subscribe, comment, like, share. I appreciate everything. Bye for now.